Let's get googly. Google Forms is one of those great tools that is unsung in the Google apps. It does so many amazing things, but often we use it for formative summative assessments, quizzes, or for permission slips. Today, we are going to explore three very amazing ways that we can update our Google Forms usage to do incredible things with it in our classrooms. Three minutes on the clock and let's get googly. First off teachers, let's do a quick bonus tip. One of my favorite tips inside of Google is to go forms.new. This also works for doc slide sheets, sites, and all you have to do is uh, put the dot new afterwards and it starts a brand new Google form as long as you are in your Google account. Our first tip today is a cosmetic change that Google made to Google Forms recently that just makes it more interesting and engaging for us as educators and more interesting and engaging for our students as well. To find it, you click in the top right in the little customized theme, it looks like a little palette. And now you can change all of the fonts to dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of fonts inside of Google. You can also change the size to make it more readable for different audiences. You have your font for header, question, and text. You can also add a different color to your scheme just with one click, or you can go ahead and customize that background color to any color you'd like and go ahead and add that to your background. You can also change the background to a different color as well. So some really great little cosmetic changes that makes it easier for our students to read and easier for our students to, to see the, the creativity that we have as educators. Our second tip today, just really quick, is in the same spot. It's under the choose header button right here. The headers are one of those things that most teachers don't add to their forms, but it does add personality and context for what kind of form they're filling out. So for instance, you can go ahead and grab any of the pre-made themes that are already available inside of Google Forms. So let's say that you wanna grab one for work and school, and maybe you're doing a chemistry assignment, those sorts of things. You can go ahead and click on this one, it's a little beaker bottles, hit insert, and it will add that cover image to the very top of your Google Form. You can also add customized ones. If you go ahead and click on the image, you can go ahead and hit upload, or you can grab from your photos in your drive. I usually use a secondary program called Canva to create my Google form headers, but there's lots of different websites that you can go to to create brand new ones like Adobe Creative Cloud, Express, or just go ahead and do it on Google Drawings too. So number two is add some customization to your form using customized headers. It also takes moving images like GIFs, which is incredible. Tip number three is in our question types. And there are many different types of questions we can ask inside of Google Forms. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, and the list goes on and on and on. As we know, if we click on the three dots right here, we can go ahead and see more options. Two of my favorite questions to see more options are under short answer and paragraph. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab short answer. And in there, you're gonna see a secret menu now for response validation. Response validation allows us to kind of qualify what kind of answer it is inside of our question and searching for specific things. So let's say that I want my students to write in the word text or the text of the word Alaska with capital because it's a capitalized word. If they don't have that, keep trying. You know, a little customized error text there. And so now until the student types in the word Alaska here with a capital, they won't be able to move on with that question or turn in their form. This is the basis for escape rooms and lots of really fun things that you can do with students. The other thing that you can do as well is under paragraph response validation, again in the three dots, we can add a length count, so minimum character count or maximum character count, count to a paragraph level answer. So students are required to write a certain amount or they are only allowed to write a certain amount, which is nice. The third one is multiple choice, and this one gives you go-to section based on answer. Depending on their answer, you can send them to a new section um, or back to the same section or to the end of the form. That is filled out right here to add a new section is right here with the equal sign, and then I'll add a new section down below. With the new changes to fonts, adding headers, and then using response validation on a variety of question types, we can really open up some great options for using Google Forms in our classroom beyond quizzes and permission slips. We're allowed to make creative spaces like escape rooms and really quantifiable forms to make sure our students are writing and developing the ideas that we're looking for. There's lots of different things to explore inside of Google Forms. I would definitely encourage you to get Googly and explore what Google Forms has to offer. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time.